Yeah, no, I, I remember when you you did the uh, the Elliot Leakers freestyle. Yeah, yeah. I remember he made a comment about it, like, yeah, yo, yeah. like this is dope. Like outside of yeah. TDE, this is like some of the hottest shit yeah, I've yeah, heard. Yeah. And I think after that, I don't know if it was before that or after that, things started moving. Yeah, you know, because I don't. I, but it was right around the same time, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it was around the same time. Around the same Punch, time. Punch got me to LA Leak. No. Oh, he's the one that got me to put you yeah, on there. Yeah. Ah. So yeah, so this thing's been working behind the scenes. Like a lot of Good. work. Good. I like that. But and I'm, then Punch puts together the group, a room full of mirrors. Yes, sir. Name all the people in the group. Um, it's uh Lyric Michelle, uh Jerris Law, Early Riser, Itchy Bondon, Billy Marie, myself, uh Nick Grant. And uh, Punch. Punch. Who's actually in the group? Who's actually in the group? Actually, right. member in the group. Um, yeah, we outside. Okay, and you guys actually put out an album yeah. last year. Yes, most definitely. Well, more like a visual EP. The album is on the way. Right, and you know, look, you know, we're just gonna keep it a hundred. I listened to it; it was dope. Yeah, you know, it was really kind of like it was very lyrical. Yeah, and the beat sounded kind of more, kind of like a boom bap. Yeah. Kind of, you yeah. know, what I mean, it yeah. wasn't like the, the new style. Like it wasn't like mm. it was like okay, like this is like classic hip hop. Yeah. With a bunch of rappers really like spitting one after the other, sometimes yeah. going back and forth mm -hmm. and so forth. Um, you know, I looked at the numbers, the numbers were not huge. Yeah. Like I think the biggest song had like 200, 300,000 views, yeah. which in this day and age is like, you know, if you're not getting millions, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So when it came out, were you okay with it, disappointed with oh, yeah, it? Oh, yeah, yeah. See, um, and like I said, sometimes it's not about, it's not about like a tree being a hundred foot tall as soon as you plant it. Mm -hmm. Like that, the album is designed and set up a very strong root. Mm -hmm. Sets up a very strong core. And, um, you know, with the room full of mirrors, like, and if, if you notice, like, this is the president of TDE. There's a lot of things he could have done to made it. To of course, make. he could have pressed all types of buttons. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? He did. It, it wasn't. On purpose, it, on, I assume. It's on purpose not to press buttons because it's like, yo, let's see what we could do without any fluff. Yeah, I think uh, Vlad TV was made one of the first announcements. One of, one of the first times, yeah, shout yeah. out to Vlad. But yeah, but I think Punch was more so like, let you know, he can clearly say, hey, TDE roster, everybody post this. Right. You get what I'm saying? And But he was like, no, I don't want to do none of that. I want to see what we could get completely organically yeah. from just blatant good music. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what he's doing. So it's like, let's, let's build the bricks very solid before we add all the glitter on top yeah and, and that's kind of what we on right now it's core it's all about the core that's why you know we didn't brand it as you know with the label stamp it's like yo let's just let's see how many people will fuck with us before the hype come mm -hmm. right before the extra hype yeah and i and it's guess epic it's epic it's like a nice a nice chunk like a good solid chunk of people like right now we could probably pack out like a 2500 to 3000 people venue okay that's solid it's perfect solid for a room full of mirrors. That's solid. Yeah. And that's with no, if if you ever think, we didn't even do no super press run. We didn't, mm -hmm. we didn't hit the radio stations. We didn't have tell all the blog no, sites. There was like a genius interview. That was it. That and was that's it. recently. But we, yeah. and, and this is, this is deliberately, purposefully to see who is here before the clout. Mm -hmm. And I guess with this, this is a setup for your solo album. Yeah, most definitely. Right, and I'm not gonna say what we talked about mm -hmm. off camera, yeah. but the, the features on this shit is is mind blowing. Yeah, yeah, we out. We most definitely out. Is um, is my it, it, you know like like when you hear some of these features, you're gonna be like, yo, yeah, this is crazy. And we're, and we're not talking about you know TDE artists that we should be an obvious choice. Yeah. It's like non obvious shit. Like, goddamn, yeah. you got him on yeah. a song with you. I think it's, I think it's, I think it's too like it's just kind of like a lyrically respect level. You yeah. know, I, like. You know, I would say this, and I'm not afraid to say this out loud. I can say this publicly, and you can pretty much title this Daylight Says What I'm About to Say Right Now. I'm mm -hmm. the best ever. So some people are like, yeah, I need a piece of that. I'm the best ever. Nobody in the hip-hop space is better than me. Not a single person. There you have it. I'm better than Biggie Smalls. I'm better than Pac. I'm better than everyone. And you should think that way. I am. I don't think that way. I you am. are. Okay. There Nobody you go. in the space of hip-hop would disagree. Not a single rapper at all. Not one. There you have it. I'm like a celestial of hip hop. Like I control time, space, every. Nobody's gonna say nothing. Uh, the best ever. 